what's good? It's Tristan with YouCanSingAnything.com and today we're gonna check out Mitch Grassy's vocals. We got Mitch Grassy high note compilation here. I'm excited to kind of check this out. I was a big fan of Mitch Grassy for a while. Actually, finding his the clips of him singing super, super high would just like, they would just like really get me off. But I haven't seen a compilation like this in a while, so I'm super excited to check it out. By the way, I am a vocal coach. Like I said, check me out. You can see anything.com. I teach Skype lessons online every single day. Also, check out my Patreon. Link in the description. On my Patreon, I have a reward where I will critique or review your singing in a video very similar to this one. And quick interruption, I am so sorry. Be sure that you subscribe to our, our vlogging channel. That's right, vlogging channel. Channel, link in the description. All that being said, here we go. Mitch Grassy's High Notes. That's the name of this video. Y'all been asking me to react to Mitch Grassy for a while now. <laughs> So I'm kind of psyched for this. And I haven't heard his voice in long enough that it's going to just sound super fresh to me. Ricky Dillon! Hey guys, we're finally- Has he? Since I last was listening to him, is he singing higher these days? At least in this clip? That's ridiculous. His mix is amazing. Oh yeah, there we go, some live vocals. <laughs> His voice is kind of like, y'all know who Dimash is? Let me get some of those vibes here. He's singing much more like a countertenor in these clips than I remember. I love that tone. Here we go, come on. Effortless though. So I guess, look, to make this instructional, look, I'm not a pro with this kind of a sound, but I can I can show you how to generally get his tone, particularly if you're a male. I guess it'll work if you're a female as well. So he's using what people like to call mixed voice, right? Mixed voice is kind of an, an ambiguous term if you're a singer. You've probably heard this word. If you're not a singer, don't fucking worry about it because it doesn't really mean very much. But that being said, what he's doing is he's going into his, you have two voices, right? You have your speaking voice, and then you have this voice, right? Um, so he's going into this one, right? His second voice. And then he's kind of taking it from like this, like Mickey Mouse placement of like a, ha, ha, I'm Mickey Mouse. He's going from there to like, he's adding SpongeBob to it. So you go from Mickey Mouse to SpongeBob and you go, ah, 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 ah. Again, it's not my sound, it's not my thing, but that's the general place he's coming from. And if you take a listen, you'll hear that that's accurate. <laughs> Wrong. That sort of general place. Again, it's not gonna be perfect because he sings in a very different way from the way I sing, but if you're generally trying to get that timbre, that's kind of where he's going from. It's not the breathy. You just add a little bit of like this to it. Those runs though. I love this clip. Oh my god. So in this clip he's adding a lot more of his chest voice and this is the this is the Mitch Grassy I remember. This is the kind of yeah, this is ridiculous. Ooh, the resonance in that. Stronger than I've been. 
the drums in. This is the part where I break free. Till I can't resist it no more. Shake it up, I shake it up. Must be love on the brain. I used to want to sing like him so bad. He's like some range wanking for a lot of us singers out there. His range is so good. Really? What the fuck? <laughs> He's so good with those dates. Oh my god, how does it get so powerful on those? That's really cool. I would sound like a dying cat up there. Also, I want you to pay attention to his vowels. Like I said before, how he's sort of modifying towards like SpongeBob vowels, super like nasally kind of sounding vowels. They don't sound that way. I don't mean nasal in a derogatory sense. But hear how he is in these upper notes. He's not singing oh or er or oh. He's going ah ah. He's going towards just as, as bright as he can get, and as like, ah. Adam Lambert does something very, very, very similar. That's because like I've said in many videos, the higher you go, the more towards ah your voice will go. Really, really high male voices, they sound like they're singing ah constantly. What? He's singing with Stevie? That's that's amazing. Last time I watched Pentatonix, they were just they weren't this big yet, I don't think. Man, I love doing this on YouTube because I get to get reintroduced to these singers I used to listen to. Can you, okay, so, sorry, not to make fun, but again, just for the people who are trying to get a similar sound. Spongebob-y, right? Just a little bit? But like more of a beautiful Spongebob. And by the way, bring me, he's not saying bring, bring me down. He's going down. Oh my god. Oh my god, the, his low range too though. I like when he adds more chest into his voice, personally. <laughs> what the hell? Great. That was amazing. Hell yeah. Awesome group pentatonics. I sing too. In fact, I bet I can sing a higher note than you. I uh, do you think so? Let's have a sing off. Okay. I'll be him. Go. I'll, I can't sing. No, you have to do yeah, it. Yeah, but I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that clip? I want to see that. All right, awesome. Yo, thank you guys for telling me to check this out. If you want me to check out any other pentatonics videos, please either link them in the description or just give me a recommendation because I would love to hear more of them. Be sure you like this video. If you like this video, subscribe if you're new and check me out. You can sing anything.com. Come, come, come. Can I sing higher than Mitch Grassy? Come! All right, goodbye, everybody.